I am Shaka Starks and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm showing you how to do a DIY sewing in 20 minutes using a U-part wig. Super excited. I'm turning this U-part wig from Eunice hair into a flat flat sewing, okay? So I took out the clips in the combs and I customized this thing. I made this fit perfect to my head because their waves are typically too big for me. I got a small head. I got a small head. I literally like my hand, my head. I can palm that joint. So I made it fit perfectly. I love this because I can access my hair underneath. I can take the wig off and wash it really good and wash my hair really good and still have the look of a sew-in, which is pretty much my go-to. That's my fave. This texture is a body wave. It's looking real straight because I just washed it and blow dried it. Um, I clipped the ends a teeny, teeny bit. I think I might want to cut this a little shorter because this wig is on like the thinner side but I love that for what I'm using it for because it's not heavy. So it's perfect for, you know, trying to achieve a sew-in look. The U part instead of a V part lets me leave out more hair, which looks more natural. I like to switch up the look. It's, it's like very minimal like difference, but I like being able to switch it up. I like being able to have more hair out and change my part from like a side part to a middle part all that good stuff i cut off this back thing and another thing i did eunice hair they have like these ear tabs where the wig goes over and i cut them out because so it the wig like goes right around if like when i tell you i customize this thing it fits perfectly like if you don't cut them out it's gonna go all the way up here so since I want to sew it right onto these braids, I cut it out and I was nervous that it was like going to unravel or do something weird and it didn't. It's still super secure, no shedding, even though like I cut it, um, I cut the tracks, no shedding, really nice, no tangling. My only con, which is not really a con depending on like what you prefer, is this hair is more brown than black and my hair is black. So I could put a rinse on, on the hair or a dye on it and make it perfect. I probably will. I haven't done it because I've actually really like the chocolate brown. The only thing is it doesn't match my leave out and I have a lot of leave out out. So that's that, but it's sitting, okay? It's looking like a bust down middle part when I put this away, it's, it's given. So let's get into it. Nothing special with these braids. Anchor braids here, anchor braids around. And just one, two, three plaits. And I pinned it up. That's it. I did not go in with the braids because again, what I like about this is I can take this off. So I've been wearing this for like a couple weeks and taking it off weekly. My making it a part of my Sunday reset self care to just take it off, wash my hair, wash the wig and put it back on. It takes me around maybe 20 minutes to sew this down. So here we go. Obviously I must, I must speed this up for y'all cause y'all don't need to watch me sew this down for 20 minutes. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, but I just want you to see this custom fit child. Okay, it's perfect. It feels so good. Like even if I just wanted to use some bobby pins and just clip it right here, it's not going anywhere because the fit is fitting. The fit is fitting. Maybe I'll do a detailed video on how to do this because if you have a small head like me, these wigs are not gonna fit you. They big, okay? So basically what I do is I put the wig on my head and I kind of figure out like where I need it to be smaller or more snug. And I pretty much just um, pinch it and start sewing. And so I always start with the back because it seems like, you know, the back of the neck is where like you get all this extra 
hair, all this extra material, and I'm like, nah. And it's so uncomfortable when you can feel the wig rubbing on the back of your neck. So I usually start with the back, I pinch it there, and I'll just sew across. It's really important that you're pinching it in your the hump or like whatever you're gathering is inside of the wig and not on this side or else you're gonna have like ugly like bumpy, you're gonna have an ugly bumpy wig. So I pinch it, I use something like, I typically use a clip and I'll gather it like that and I'll just sew. So I did that three times in the back and then I did here and here. This is what the inside of the wig looks like. It's not perfect. It does what needs to be done. Major hack with these wigs is make sure it fits. If not, even if you don't sew it down, it's just gonna either be uncomfortable or the clips are gonna be pulling and you know, it most likely won't come off, but it, it will be uncomfortable. So this is a major key in making sure your wigs are comfortable, especially if you're gonna sew it down and like sleep in it. Um, I honestly, I like V-part wigs because I can take them off and take them on, but right now I really, I'm not really, that's, it's not really working for me. I need to be able to get up and get out the door. So being able to sew this down is wonderful. Um, I also just don't have time to do a full sewing. So let's get into this. It's I typically start sewing these anchor braids and then I'll sew around. I just realized I just sewed the whole back of the wig and it wasn't recording. Wonderful. So here, let me just try to show y'all what I did. I just pulled. So I basically just pulled the wig down over the braid in the back and just sewed across. It's really not like anything special or advanced kind of probably kind of sloppy because i can't see it but i just feel for my braid and i make sure that 
the wig still feels comfortable and I just sew across. So now I've sewed here because I don't want, so this is actually in front of the braid so that it's covering my edges. I actually sewed here. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So now the last part I have is just here. Because I've already went across the back. So I'm gonna do the same thing, parting some of this hair away. And this is our edge situation. And I'm pulling this over, over that. And right there and there that lays flat because if I were to sew this onto the braid this would be way back here that's not what I want take your time when you're doing this feel for the braid That just gives me a nice shine with no weight. So I'm done. Make sure you check the description box for everything I use in this video. I'll link everything Another below. Another banger texture is A1, okay? It's a really good match for my hair texture. If you have a more coarse texture, it probably, it may not match as well. Um, or if your hair is thicker, because my hair is fine in the, like I said, this is like a thinner wig, it's pretty natural. Perfect little switch up, okay. I I'm loving it. I'm loving it. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, if you found it helpful, show me some love in the comment section below. Like this video, and of course, go ahead and join the fam. Do it, join the fam, subscribe to my channel. Also, check out some of my other videos right here. Thank you. See you in the next one. Yay!